Hey, it's Angie from Trips with Angie, and today we are talking about Los Cabos, and we are focusing on San Jose del Cabo. So Los Cabos is basically two towns, Cabo San Lucas and San Jose del Cabo. San Jose del Cabo is the older town, so you're going to find art galleries and restaurants. If you want the marina, then you want to be closer to Cabo San Lucas. So in San Jose del Cabo, I have three resorts I want to recommend. So two of them are in the corridor, which is what we call the road that connects San Jose del Cabo to Cabo San Lucas. The first is Gran Villas Los Cabos. This resort is luxury. It's one of the best family all-inclusive resort chains out there. The menus are designed by Michelin star chefs. It's beautiful. It has three cascading pools, including an adults only pool. Check it out to Grand Villas Family All-Inclusive Resort in the corridor of Los Cabos. This is the beautiful lobby where you'll check in and get your champagne cocktail. The entire resort is seaside, so you have this great view overlooking the pool. There's also a small coffee shop, and here is an ambassador suite. This is the least expensive room in the resort, so look how large and spacious they are. 80% of them are connecting, so it's great for families to be able to get those guaranteed two rooms. You have the jacuzzi bathtub, the double sinks, the huge balcony, really great amenities including the mini bar, a special tequila made only for Grand Villas and a small bottle of wine. Here's the connecting room with all the baby amenities that are available. It makes it so much easier to travel with small children when you don't have to bring everything with you. They even have cute little bathrobes. This is the lobby bar. They'll play football games in here so you can cheer along with your favorite team. Also just a great place to unwind at the end of the day. This is one of their very special wellness suites. This is unique. I haven't seen this at other properties before. It comes with special mini bar, alkaline water, 15 minute massages are included. You also have access to a personal food concierge that can craft your own special menu that you can access in restaurants throughout the property. Dining is key here. This is Piaf, the French restaurant. It is for ages 12 and up. And now let's head out to the pool area. I love that they kept the desert landscaping that you see in Los Cabos. It has this beautiful terrace that would be absolutely gorgeous for private events or weddings. And then three pools. The first is adults only, the middle is family, and the upper is family. So you have a swim-up bar for the kids and a swim-up bar for the adults. Here is the Evening lounge, this is where people come at night for karaoke, live music. It has indoor and outdoor seating because you definitely want to take advantage of those great views. This beach is not swimmable, so keep that in mind. As part of the wellness programming, there is a fitness center with all types of activities, classes, yoga available. The spa is absolutely incredible. It was full when we went, so we didn't have a chance to go in and check it out. So this is the buffet, lots of freshly prepared items. It's open for all three meals, so you really have a chance to enjoy local cuisine, including handmade tortillas. But if you don't feel like getting dressed, there is a grill out by the pool. This is the adults-only pool and that swim-up bar. Remember, that was the first pool in the trio of pools. Here's the terrace where they have yoga in the mornings. And this is a special Villas 10 seafood grill where you have your steaks and your seafood right here beachside. There's casual dining with ceviche and seafood by the pool as well. This restaurant is very special. Cocina du Atour. The menu is designed by a two Michelin star chef. It's an 8 to 10 course tasting menu. Frida is available if you want Mexican cuisine. And then here is Luca, which is the Italian restaurant. Look at that huge wall of wine. The Grand Villas has more included wines than most typical all-inclusive resorts. Then just up the road from Grand Villas Los Cabos is Le Blanc Cabo. Now, if you've watched my best honeymoon videos, you know that Le Blanc Cabo is one of my favorites. This is butler service, quiet, relaxing. The infinity pool is gorgeous. I highly recommend. Here at LeBlanc Spa Resort in Los Cabos, Mexico. First, huge thank you to the whole team at LeBlanc and Palace Resorts for sponsoring my three night stay. And if you are a subscriber, you're probably thinking to yourself, Angie, this is the fanciest you've ever looked at one of these videos. And it's true. It's also the best I've ever smelled. I spent the afternoon at the spa at the included hydro therapy. You do steam rooms, saunas, scrubs, showers, ice room, and then you go into these wonderful pools. I can't wait to show you around this adults only all-inclusive. 
So here we are in the lobby. This is where you'll arrive. One thing to note when you arrive, you will drive past the resort and then come back. It's just because there's no left turns. So you'll check in here, show your passport, and look at that great ocean view. So we are gonna head to the left here to go see Blanc Italiana. This is Blanc Italia, one of the specialty restaurants. It is included. It's Italian, as you guessed. You do not need reservations. And it just, it's so pretty and elegant. I love how all of the specialty restaurants each have their own signature cocktail menu. There's a wine list. You can use the resort credits you get. Most people book a promotion with resort credits when they stay here. So you can use resort credits to upgrade your wine offerings and uh, upgrade your food offerings as well. So now back in the lobby, we are gonna head to the left as you head towards this beautiful terrace. Here's where you'll make your spa tours and golf reservations. There's also an app where you can request butler services, use your resort credits. So that's a great way to go about it as well. Here's the lobby bar. It has an extensive cocktail list. They can even make smoked old fashions. I highly recommend. So it's a nice place to hang out in the evenings, but it is open all day. Now this terrace is one of my favorite things about this resort because not everybody wants to sit on a lounge chair. A lot of folks just want to have a nice comfortable chair and so this is a great space. You have a tremendous ocean view. You're right outside the lobby bar and there's so many places to sit. Oh, we can, there's people doing yoga here. Let me give you a closer look. So each morning at seven, there's a yoga class right there under that arch. Isn't that beautiful? The sun is just rising over here and you can have a nice yoga class. For those of you used to Cancun and Riviera Maya, it's really neat in Cabo because it gets cooler overnight. So this morning it's about 67 degrees. I'm filming this in April. So it feels really nice and refreshing. Now let's take a look at what's to the right from the lobby. So coming to the right from the lobby, there's the bank of elevators that goes to most of the rooms in the main tower and Blanc Asia, which is the Asian restaurant. This restaurant has indoor and outdoor seating. The food was delicious. I highly recommend the sake salmon sashimi. It was so good. Also the sea bass was delicious. So you can see you can sit inside or outside on that long terrace. Continuing to head down the hall, there's a lovely set of shops. And then at the end of this hall is the conference room and conference center. And I have to show you these bathrooms. These are the nicest bathrooms I've ever been in. How gorgeous is this? I joked that I was gonna come down here each morning to do my makeup. Isn't it so pretty? And everything also smells really good here. I think, you know, I smell really good as we discussed everything else smells really good so here is the little coffee shop you could get snacks pastries chocolates they make paninis doesn't this look delicious they have handmade ice creams buenos dias and then this is my favorite counter with all the little artisanal chocolates. I tried them all and they're all delicious. Now this is Lumiere. This is the French restaurant. It does require reservations. You have the option of ordering off the menu or you can do a seven course tasting menu. You can upgrade the wine pairings by paying cash or using your resort credit. I had the sea urchin and the scallops. Let me show you their pictures. It was delicious. All right, so you can see what we saw on level five. We're headed down to four to see Blanc Stage and the Fitness Center. And then we're gonna go to the spa and then head out to the pool on the beach. So coming off the elevator, here is the Fitness Center. One of the best amenities here at the Fitness Center is that you can have your own personal trainer. The, it will meet with you, it's all included. They can design a program just for you because this resort is really all about wellness and health. 
And then there's also an activities program. Take a peek. Of general classes. You can see here, so today is Thursday, so we saw the yoga this morning. There's going to be cross training, boot camp, beach volleyball, aqua spin, a beanbags tournament, and then we're going to see the blank stage area where tonight there is pop rock and a DJ night with 70s and 80s. Here's the business center. There's also two boardrooms here, so if you were having a small group training, there's two lovely areas um, where you could have your meetings. And then here's Blanc Stage. It's not currently open, but you can get the sense. So this is where the evening music is going to be each night. Now we're going to head out to the Blanc Fire Terrace. So you may see signs for Palace Elite Center. There is a timeshare program here. Um, so you. We'll see information about membership. There's a deck that's part of the sales center. There's also a couple cabanas that are reserved for members only. So let's head down to Blanc Fire. So this is the place to be for happy hour. They have live music here in the evenings. Martinis are quite the popular drink and there's a bar back here. For those of you with mobility challenges, you can take an elevator here. You don't have to come down these stairs. You'll just walk all the way past Blanc Italiana, go to where that dead ends, take a right, and there'll be an elevator on your right. So, do you need an elevator? It's there. And then in the evenings, they light these little fire pits, and it's so pretty. All right, so let's head down to the pool next, and then we'll hit the spa on our way back up. So here is the beautiful pool area. These open air valley beds are first come, first serve. And then over here, I want to show you Meza. So this is Meza. It's Lebanese food. I love that they have a different option here that versus just steakhouse, Italian. So you have can try new flavors. The food here was great. We had a mix of hot and cold appetizer. A lot of lamb is on the menu. Also, I had the fish, it was delicious. So definitely give it a try while you're here. There's four different pools. The two in the middle are heated. There's two swim up bars. This first pool you'll come to that's kind of shaped like a teardrop is the activity pool. So this is where they'll have the aqua spinning I talked about. They also have the yoga where they put a paddle board in the water and then you have to balance on your own. How cool is that? So that's all gonna be in this pool. And again, it is heated. Cause remember, like I said, Cabo gets a little bit chillier than Cancun Riviera Maya. Then on either side of the main pool, there's these football shaped pools. These are not heated. So just keep that in mind when you're selecting your seat for the morning. So here's that other football shaped pool. And then there's two of these huge hot tubs that do have jets that turn on. There's one. There's the other. And then here is the infinity pool. You can see the beach volleyball net there. Now let me show you where my favorite seat was. All right, here was my favorite chair. You get that beautiful landscape view. You can watch the beach volleyball game. You're right here by the swim up bar. And there's pool butlers that come around and make sure that you're all set. They'll set up your chair for you. They also have specialty amenities they bring around. So fruit kebabs, they bring cucumbers and an ice washcloth for your eyes. At three o'clock, there's a little parade of butlers with empanadas or rice balls. Uh, there's a churro cart that comes around. So lots of really fun, pampering amenities as you just hang out by the pool for this beautiful view. And then here is the beach. So the sand is a little bit rockier and the surf is very strong. So you cannot swim or do any water sports here. You're not getting in the water, but you do have the wonderful sound of the waves crashing into the sand. In fact, it gets so loud sometimes. I was wondering what it was. It was a huge boom. So this is not the resort to go to if you want to kayak every day in the ocean, um, but it is a wonderful resort if you just enjoy the sounds and looking at the oceans, having your kind of private little oasis on the sand, or spending your time at the lovely pools. So one more look here back at the resort. Now let's head in and see the spa. Another fun thing to know about the pools, you can order food right to your lounge chair. You can order pizza, tacos, ceviche, so be sure to ask for the food menu when you get a little hungry. 
Then this is the beautiful Black Ocean. It's the seafood restaurant. It is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I highly recommend the huevos rancheros or the poached eggs in tortilla soup. It's delicious. My other favorite is the hanger steak tacos. You can't go wrong. All right, we're gonna head and see a couple of the restaurants here on the first level. Just a reminder, I partner with LeBlanc Spa Resort. So if you are watching this in April, there is currently a $250 per person airfare credit available. You can contact me to book Angie at tripswithangie.com. Also, if you contact me by April 30th, 2019, I have a special offer where I am paying for private transfers from the airport to this beautiful resort. So here, let's take a peek. It's not quite open yet. This is Blanc International. This is buffet, breakfast, and lunch, and then steakhouse dinner. So as I said, Blanc International. So here is the buffet. It has everything you could ever want. But if you know me, you know that my favorite section, nope, it's not the Bloody Mary. It's not the donuts, even though these were delicious. It is the Mexican food station. I love that you can get Mexican food and empanadas and burritos for breakfast. They also will make your own omelet and they have traditional breakfast items. This would be my husband's favorite station with all the different sauces you could try. And then here's more of the traditional breakfast items. French toast, pancakes, waffles, eggs, potatoes, sausage, bacon. Here is Blanc Pizza. It's open throughout the day. So I think it's so funny. They have a little bar you can sit at and then you have your pizza oven. They have four or five different kinds of crust. They have gluten-free crust. They have a vegan pizza option um, with tofu instead of cheese. So you have a lot of different choices. And like I said, you can come in here and sit down and eat, or you can have it delivered right to your chair. Here's another fun gift shop where you can use some of your resort credit. When you use the resort credit, you do need to pay a 16% service fee to cover the taxes. Also, this is another spot where you can make your reservations if you don't want to do it on the app. I highly recommend the Dream Art Photography. I've seen several of the photo shoots with couples and they were absolutely gorgeous. So if you're celebrating a special anniversary, honeymoon, you definitely want to take advantage of that. All right, now we're going to head up to the spa. So here is the spa. Again, you can use your resort credit for services here. Um, there's also a beauty salon in, in addition to different treatments. And I absolutely love the hydrotherapy. It's steam room, sauna, showers, and a lovely hydrotherapy circuit. So this is included for everyone. So you start in the sauna and then you head into the ice room where they hand you a handful of ice and you cool off. Then they give you a face mask and a hair mask and you go into the steam room that has aromatherapy and different colored lights. And then after that, you come into the experience showers. So there's two there, warm and cold. Then you get to relax on the heated loungers. This is all women only or men only, depending on which side you're on. And then you can head out to the pool area. And here is, this is a warm pool that you can turn on the jets your massage pool, and then a cold pool down at the end. And there's also a beauty salon. Manicures, pedicures, all that good stuff. All right, now let's go check out a room. So each room has a butler um, that's shared by about 10 other rooms. And they have this incredible app where you can request all kinds of fun things. Let me show you a picture of it. This is LeBlanc, room 940. It's a honeymoon suite. So you come in, you have your big bathtub. You do have a butler who will set it up with bath salts or bubbles, whatever fragrance you want. You have two sinks and a nice stand-up walk-in shower with the rainforest. Then over here we have the closets. You do have bathrobes as well as an umbrella, slippers, your standard safe. We have another closet with an ironing board and iron, but your butler will iron for you. Suitcase case. And this is kind of your mini bar setup. So you have an espresso machine, 
a bottle of tequila. You also have Black Label, Bacardi, and Absolute in your room, as well as a bottle of red wine. You have some little snacks. The coffee supplies. And your mini fridge. This is replenished daily. And then ice bucket and bottled water. And then here is your nice big king bed with outlets right next to the bed. You can see you can close off the bathroom with curtains. So you can make the bathroom private large screen TV. There is an app as well as the television you can use. And then here is that great view of the resort. And lastly is Secrets Los Cabos. Again, if you are a fan of this channel, you saw that I visited during COVID at the end of last year. This is located on a golf course. It has great views in terms of the golf course, the ocean, as well as the desert landscaping you find in the Cabo area. I highly recommend getting a preferred club room so you can enjoy the preferred club infinity pool. Check in at Secrets Puerto Los Cabos looks a little different due to COVID. You'll notice the staff are wearing masks. There's a plexiglass barrier between you and the person checking you in, and they'll ask you to use hand sanitizer. To give you an overlay up here on the lobby level to the right, you'll find the Coco Cafe, and beyond that are the regular rooms. Below on the lower level is the Market Grill. That's the outdoor seating for the Market Grill you can see there, and then the beautiful long infinity pool overlooking the golf course. Also on the lower level are the Asian restaurants restaurant, the Mexican restaurant, and the spa. Up here on the lobby level is the Rendezvous Lounge. This bar is open the longest, usually 10 a.m. till 1 a.m., but due to COVID, those hours may be restricted. When we were there, it closed at 11. You'll notice there's plexiglass barrier around the bar, and that's to protect the bartender from our germs, since guests don't need to wear masks. Portofino is the Italian restaurant. It's very good. I highly recommend the lasagna. Here's the indoor seating. There's also outdoor, socially distant seating available. Directly across from this outdoor seating is the shoe range. While we were there, they had both archery and rifle shooting as part of the activities. And then directly below here is the spa. The spa is open and their hydrotherapy area is open because as you can see, it's outdoors. So you have your spa jets, your warm pools, your cool pools, your steam rooms. So you can definitely make the most of the spa experience here at Secrets, even with COVID. Now from the spa, we head over to El Patio, the Mexican restaurant, which is right next to Hamatsu, the Asian restaurant. The Mexican restaurant has indoor and outdoor seating. If you want to sit indoors, men will need pants and closed toned shoes, but we were able to wear shorts outdoors. That applies everywhere except Portofino. Portofino, everybody needs pants. Here's the outdoor seating for Hamatsu. Hamatsu has two different options, a menu option and a teppanyaki table option. So in the outdoor seating and this area in inside. You can order off of the menu. Tapanyaki does require a reservation. And as you can see, there are less seats now around the Tapanyaki table than before COVID. Here's a peek inside the Market Grill. Right now it has an assisted buffet. So you can see all the dishes are behind plexiglass and the staff will serve you. And then for lunch during COVID, they have an a la carte menu. Now that's always subject to change as the requirements within Baja Sur change. But for now, the buffet is assisted in the morning and then a la carte lunch. This is Desires, the nightclub. It was not open during our stay because Baja Sur was restricting nightclubs. Now to give you a peek at what I consider the highlight of this resort, the main pool. The pool overlooks the golf course. It is a 27 hole golf course. You can play for an extra fee. The day bed slash cabanas you see here are available for an extra charge. It is a two level pool. So down here at the end, all the way to the right, as you face the ocean, you have this upper level with the chaise loungers in the water. There across the way is the Seaside Grill. This is available for a la carte lunch. And then I love how they have the planters in the water. So it makes a nice little shallow pad where you can lay half in the water, half out. And then here's the whirlpool as well. The swim up bar also has the plexiglass barriers we saw up in Rendezvous, just making sure to keep everyone safe. The Barefoot Grill you see here was closed due to COVID, but you could order the same menu to your lounge chair at the pool. The entertainment team works hard to have lots of activities throughout the day, including a putting contest at the putting green. 
One of the perks of booking a preferred club room is access to this pool. The cabanas here are first come first serve. And then it's next to the Oceana a la carte seafood restaurant. Fantastic views, highly recommend. There's also a nice fire pit. Now you can go down into the beach. You see the great beach bar with the swings. It has this huge deck. They had yoga there during our stay. And then down on the beach, there's usually cabanas and chairs here, but a storm had just passed through and they had them put them back out yet. Another perk of the Preferred Club is getting access to this Preferred Club lounge. The food offerings have changed a little bit due to COVID, so it's not quite as robust. Now, let's look at a room. So we are going to head to a master suite. So this is a two bedroom suite. It has a half bath, the table and chairs, and then basically just a lovely living room with chaise lounge. Here in the bedroom portion, which is a separate room, you'll find a king size bed. And then here's a huge balcony. It wraps all the way around the corner. So you have a view of the resort and that's the preferred club pool as well as the ocean. A huge bathroom, two sinks, a tub, a walk-in closet. And yes, you did spy a jacuzzi tub out on the balcony. So that is San Jose del Cabo recommendations. If you want the Cabo San Lucas recommendations, right here.